Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and I serve on our admin team. Whether you're watching online or joining us in person, it's my pleasure to welcome you to Fountain of Grace. August is our month of enlargement and I declare that this month the Lord will enlarge your faith to accomplish His purpose in your life, in Jesus' name. If you are new to Fountain of Grace and are wondering who we are as a church, how things work here at Fountain of Grace, how to become a member, or what we believe about God and the Bible, then we invite you to join us next week for step two of the growth track. The growth track is our monthly four-step process that is designed to help you take next steps in your relationship with God and reach your full potential. At the second step of the growth track, Connect, we will show you how we intentionally organize our church to help you grow in your relationship with God and to make a difference in the world. For those who have not yet taken classes, please register online at fogbos.org and we will get back to you. The next session will be held on Sunday, August 8th at 10.30 a.m. If you are in need of prayer and counseling, join us for the JBS Prayer Hour on Thursdays from 12 to 3 p.m. Also, be sure to join us for our Zoom meetings Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. for morning prayer and 8 p.m. on Saturdays and Wednesdays for 7 p.m. for our Bible study. Are you ready to have less of yourself and more of Him? We are excited to enter into 10 days of prayer and fasting titled Enabled for Enlargement. From August 11th through 20th, join us nightly at 7 p.m. Get yourselves ready as we seek God for growth and expansion. We can't wait to see you there. Did you know that our senior pastor has authored two powerful books, Elements of Positive Prayers and Dreams and Visions? Both books are available for sale for $10 each. Grab your copy today in the front lobby after service or see the office to purchase, and you will surely be blessed. Fountain of Grace gives you the opportunity to be a faithful and wise steward. There are three ways to give at our church. You can give online, via text message, or using one of our offering envelopes during service. In the New Living Translation of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7, it says, You must each decide in your heart how much to give, and don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure. For God loves a person who gives cheerfully. As you give to his kingdom today, may the Lord bless you abundantly.